It comes the noise, and White has five wide receivers on third and eight. It's a little screen. Complete, but trying to navigate traffic and get near the first down marker is Slayton. And that was great to see him involved here early and play with a lot of emotion and desire. They've run the ball three times for one yard, so White will go deep. Has a man open, it's Slayton with the catch. Had to come back to the football. And I think this is a mismatch, and this is a matchup every single time. Pat White, the guy that everybody thinks can't throw. White looks for Slayton. Cuts it back. And he fights for a first down. And West Virginia would have a great chance of winning that three-way tie and getting the BCS bid out of this league. This time, Slayton to the house. But the blocks that he picked up from his left tackle Stancheck right here on Blades, and then Moses we talked about being able to pick up a block on session, and then next thing you know, look how it opened <laughs> up. Five receivers on third and 12. White trying to make a move and fight for the first down. He's near it up at the 39. Growth really hurt him with a couple of scrambles in that win by USF. And here goes White up the middle. White into the secondary and down inside the 40. When West Virginia comes with the zone, he wants his defense flying. Here's the only drawback. Rich Rodriguez has a chance to be able to come back and have the chalk net. White fires to an open Darius Raynaud. He slips down. He's looking into the defense, and he thinks that he's got the matchup. He looks for Bryant. He sees him. It's a zone. Mountaineers three for three on third down so far. White loops it to the end zone. Touchdown. One more time, it's Steve Slayton. This time it was Tommy Campbell, outside linebacker, one on one. I got an idea, Pitt. Get out of the man coverage uh -huh. when it comes to covering Steve Slayton. And sets up a third and four. White, a little dart to a man wide open, and it's Raynaud fighting inside the 35. Now they're going to keep it on the ground again, but again, you can. The end zone, shocker. White throw, and there's a man wide open. It's Slayton. He doesn't lose foot races. But one on one, this is a matchup that Pat White will take every time. And I don't care who's covering Steve Slayton, but how about the throw mm. right over the shoulder again to number 10 for the touchdown? And Slayton bounces it. Gets the corner, gets 10 yards. To really spark this pit team. White, toe looks okay. Gets around the corner, has a crease. Pat White. Gone. Pat White on the West Virginia touchdown. Watch out Pat White's eyes. He's just going to go right there. Once the end commits down, quarterback's going to come right here. Typically, there's somebody right here to force him to pitch. But this is an X factor. This is speed. And Raynod gets in the way of Campbell just enough to allow him to get to the outside. <laughs> They flip it out there to Slayton. Looks for the crease. His patient dives across the 40 and has a first down. And you're basically just trying to keep yourself between the defensive back and the ball carrier. They did enough there to allow him to get a seam to the first. You don't have to do much to create a seam. And there's a seam, and there's Slayton. Forget about it. A flag comes in late as Slayton reaches the end zone. You can't call it on the Playboy All-American Center. You give the DB the flag in that one. <laughs> right. High snap, and White shoots ahead. Breaks free of a tackle momentarily. White is tracked down. Mountaineers pin back after the nice punt. But Slayton looking to improve the field position in a hurry. Look out, Steve Slayton is collared over there a flag flies they'll tack on 15 to the run watch to the left of your screen tommy campbell coming way inside making it for an easy block for renaud and then it's just speed to the corner and very fortunate that i know revis came up with a wow nasty face mask but <laughs> ripped the whole hat off yeah mountaineers looking to build in a four-point lead white keeps it white has a crease white Rolls down near the 20. How about that?
He's going to read it again. Slayton comes down, and this is a little bit different, and Clint Session in space gets exposed. The reason it's different is this time. One of the many guys who I'm sure has memories of backyard brawls in the past. White still got it. He's got a crease, and he's got a touchdown. And uh, as a defense, and you know, we've got a young one, defensive line oh, trying to. Look at that out. hole. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know. See, a running quarterback gives you an extra man to be accountable for as a defense, and that's one of the things that Rich Rodriguez does a good job of exploiting. This time it's Slayton. Bye bye. For the lineman to get to the second level, Dan Moses gets to the second level. Great turnout block by Jake Figner on Clermont, but it was Dan Moses' block that sealed the hole. And when you have Steve Slayton, and I don't even want to guess how fast he is, <laughs> but you give him the ball, there's no, you can't catch yeah. it. Two touchdown runs. Two touchdowns receiving. And actually screw the bone together. It is affecting his motion, the way he holds the ball. Now he actually injured it last season. He thought he could play with it this year, but what the trainers told me is he re-injured it this year, and now he's going to have to get it taken care of. Yeah, I talked to him last night. He said it is a concern. You, you know, you have to have in your head, Kirk. you got to change hands with the football left. and Beating an undefeated Rutgers, or one loss, West Virginia. White keeps it, follows his blocker, takes a hit. If Notre Dame beats USC, then it becomes an interesting scenario. Notre Dame's a much longer shot than right, USC. Right. Slayton. White. Still alive, cutting back. First down. Wow. He threw for over 200 yards in the first half, and this carry gets him over 200 yards rushing. And this is great running, great athletic ability, and awful tackling by Pitt. 419 total yards. If you add together rushing and passing, we'll call it 418 on that graphic. And, and Slayton, by the way, the first Mountaineer player ever, Kirk, to rush for 100 and have 100-plus receiving yards in the same game. First ever. Big hit get there, down. losing the helmet. Get yeah, get out, get kid. Down. Slayton. Midwest style is fast in a straight line, though. Just like this guy. Slayton. Does he have one more touchdown in him? <laughs> Maybe he's finally starting to show some fatigue. We have seen this the entire second half after catching the ball for big yardage. Now he just sets up that left shoulder, right? <laughs> into Clint Session. He wants to stay in bounds and keep the clock moving. Is there a better running back in the country than Steve Slayton? Not right now. As long as Adrian Peterson's not dressed, Steve Slayton's the best back in the country. For Steve Slayton, perhaps New York is a Heisman finalist at least. Rushes for 220. 130 receiving a Wrangler five-star player of the game. Again, the first Mountaineer ever over 100 rushing and receiving. He scored four touchdowns.